Hi guys, today I'm going to show you the difference between alkaline water in a bottle versus alkaline ionized water made by our superior Kangen machine K8. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pour some 9.5 Vortex, 9.5 pH water that I purchased at the health food store into one cup. And while I'm doing this, just to explain, here we have the pH scale one to 14. Anything blue and purple is alkaline, seven is a neutral, anything yellow, orange is acidic. So what we're looking for is the blues, the purples, and our healthy blood is at 7.4 pH. So we're always looking for that balance. So we're gonna produce 9.5 pH water with the machine. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use another brand called GP8 Alkaline Water. And I'm going to use Kangen Water in the second demonstration. And I'm also going to use tap water to show you the pH of tap water. Here we go. So we're going to use pH drops, 9.5 Vortex, 9.5 Kangen tap water, GP8, and Kangen 9.5. So here we have it, we have straws, I did not want to contaminate. What we're gonna do is we're gonna blow carbon, which is waste, into each of these uh, liquids to see if it can sustain oxidation. As you can see, it went acidic and it's not stable and it cannot do anything for our bodies. Then we have K8 Kangen and GP8. As you can see, we brought it down to neutral. It is not stable enough. It has no bearing on our system. There's no way to prevent oxidation in our body and it does not have the sufficient antioxidants that it requires. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next presentation.